Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best R rated action movies. For this list, we'll be looking at action thrill rides that made the most of that hard R rating. What's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10 Predator. The Predator franchise has been to a lot of places, including a brief dip into PG-13 territory with its first crossover with the Alien universe. For the most part, however, these interstellar hunters tend to dwell within that hard R world of brutal violence and intense action. The first film in particular is a testosterone-fueled exercise in excess, focusing on Arnold Schwarzenegger's Dutch and his crack team of tough guys as their rescue mission turns into a fight for survival. The Director John McTiernan and crew keep the violence raw and visceral, while the jungle setting keeps Predator always feeling uneasy and on edge. <laughs> Number 9. Kingsman The Secret Service Today, comic book adaptations are a dime a dozen, but the emphatic R rating is generally eschewed in favor of the wider commercial net cast by the PG-13 one. There are exceptions, of course, with the Kingsman franchise reveling in the sort of over-the-top action set pieces that pride themselves on ridiculous physics and jaw-dropping violence. The first film, Kingsman The Secret Service, sets the tone for the series' stylish production and blackly comedic tone and balances traditional espionage tropes with action antics that edge dangerously close to self-parody yet remain fun all the same. Number 8. First Blood Although it should be said that Rambo 2 is where Sylvester Stallone's John Rambo character really hits all the action movie beats fans tend to associate with the franchise, the first film is nothing if not classic. First Blood earns its R rating too, only taking its time getting to that point. Instead, First Blood largely prefers to honor David Morrell's original novel and its character study of Rambo as a damaged Vietnam War veteran. Rambo's eventual descent into trauma and subsequent actions upon the tormentors in town hits a different sort of violence. It's a violence of the mind and the tragedy of what happens when a man attempts to return home from war only to find that home no longer feels safe. It's over, Johnny. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Number 7. Lethal Weapon Like I said, Finn. Probably nothing. It's perhaps the best buddy cop movie of all time, one that nails every line, every set piece, and every character trope in pitch perfect fashion. We're talking about Lethal Weapon, and it's required viewing for anyone who remotely considers themselves to be an action fan. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover make for the perfect mismatched pair, with the family life of Glover's Murtaugh being juxtaposed against the shattered sanity of the unhinged Martin Riggs. Sure, the jokes fly fast and furious here, but Lethal Weapon also never shies from shocking violence. Meanwhile, the final third of the film is a white-knuckle thrill ride that almost makes you forget Lethal Weapon even had comedic moments. Number 6. Kill Bill Volume 1 Mommy, I'm home. Hey, baby. How was school? Quentin Tarantino fans are well aware of the director's penchant for inserting as many references as possible to classic genre and exploitation cinema. It's perhaps the Kill Bill movies that best distill this feeling into something that's equal parts originality and homage, however, a perfect tribute to the kung fu boom of the 1970s. 
Both Kill Bill volumes are fantastic, but we have to admit we're partial to the first installment, thanks to a couple of deadly set pieces. The fight between the bride and the crazy 88 is the stuff of legend, but the fact that there's still two more wild fights in the House of Blue Leaves? Well, it's just the icing on the proverbial action movie cake. Number 5. John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum We have to admit that the John Wick franchise was an awesome surprise when the first film bowled us over back in 2014. The OG does a great job at building the strange but awesome universe of hitmen, contract killers, and their unique code of ethics. Chapter 2 doubles down on this, laying the groundwork for the third chapter, Parabellum, in 2019. Wick is basically bulletproof at this point with regard to how the fans feel about these films, but at the same time, they exemplify action cinema as art. There's a beauty to the fight choreography to the point where it feels like we're watching a dance, a gorgeous, deadly dance that feels so elevated above its contemporaries. Number 4. Speed Pop quiz, hot shot. There's a bomb on a bus. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, the bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it blows up. What do you do? Pop quiz, hot shot. Where were you when Speed was released in 1994? It's one of those action flicks that's simultaneously revered and underrated at the same time. Speed makes the most out of a great idea that of a mad bomber holding an entire moving bus hostage with an explosive that's set to go off should the bus fall under 50 miles per hour. Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock are great together on screen, while Dennis Hopper is an absolute madman as the demented Howard Payne. Now what do you do? You're so smart, right, Jack? I'm the guy with the plan, because I'm smart. The film is a lean, mean action machine that wastes no time once it gets going, and sticks with you long after the credits roll. The less said about Speed 2 Cruise Control, however, the better. Number 3. Terminator 2 Judgment Day Get down. What do you do when you're tasked to top what's easily one of the finest sci-fi action hybrids of all time? Well, if you're writer-director James Cameron, you release Terminator 2 Judgment Day and you change the game again. T2 leans a bit heavier on traditional action tropes while retaining the heady sci-fi of its predecessor. The special effects take center stage here, though, utilizing technology that was cutting edge at the time and honestly still looks pretty damn great today. Go! There's also an approachability to the characters and an incredibly quick pace that makes Terminator 2 feel like the summer blockbuster it truly is. An R-rated thrill ride that somehow feels like it was made for everyone. Hasta la vista, baby. Number 2. Mad Max Fury Road If George Miller threw open the gates for the post-apocalyptic boom with the original Mad Max and its 1981 sequel, The Road Warrior, then consider Fury Road to represent Miller's return to the throne. I live! I die! I live again! Ah! 
The film was a breath of fresh air during a time when excessive CGI and lazy, shaky cam choreography seemed to be everywhere. Fury Road was having none of that and instead brought things back to wild production design, practical effects, and the sort of imaginative visuals that made the film feel like it came from one of Miller's fever dreams. Sing, brother Hawk! Sing, brother! Sing! Sing! The movie possesses an almost fetishistic worship of the wheel, an honoring of Octane and a devotion to delivering one of the most unique action movies to ever hit the silver screen. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Beverly Hills Cop, in a class all its own. Face Off, John Woo Does America. True Lies. A crossover success for Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee. Come on, baby. Dirty Harry, the 70s cop flick that defined a decade. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Escape from New York, John Carpenter's dystopian sci-fi action banger. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Die Hard Welcome to the party, pal! Forget the debate about whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie, because what it is, what it really is, is an R-rated action masterpiece. Set the holiday trappings aside, ignore Bruce Willis's undeniable charisma and quotable quips, and Die Hard is still awesome. Forget all the trivia you know, pay attention to the pacing, the characters, and the urgency of the violence, and it still works brilliantly. <laughs> Die Hard is just a case of correct execution at the correct time with the right people doing their best to make the best movie they could. There's a reason why this franchise is still so beloved by so many. Die Hard is perfect. Yippee -ki -yay, mother Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.